Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and in my recent work planner video, I mentioned that I was considering moving into uh, A5 rings, maybe for March, maybe through the rest of the year. I don't know. I'm kind of a little bit tired of the discs right now, and I kind of wish I'd have started with the rings at the beginning of the year. But also, I have this binder, uh, this Moturn binder that I've been using. Um, for the half letter junior size A5 disc DIY planner that I use for my work planner and I want to get more use out of this binder so I'm going to test a little theory do a little hacking and see if I can convert this binder into a six ring binder now I was able to do that um, with this notebook cover uh it was a b6 for b6 notebook and once you put the rings in it it takes up a little space so it brings it down to a personal size and i was able to do that in this cover and i also have a moterm cover that this will fit in and what it is is it's just the laminate with the rings on it and it slides right in so any what is that so any b6 size notebook cover uh, this should work in as long as it has the pockets that you can slide the laminate in and so yeah I just trimmed it down so that it will fit so theoretically I'm thinking the same thing will work in the a5 disc cover my only concern would have been the space for the rings but since it already has space for discs and this is not a small cover I think that I can make it work we'll soon find out so I have this um, ring mechanism and the hardware that goes with it I purchased this in 2021 I got two of them for like around $10 I'll link to it um, in the description box below I also have some other mo terms but all of those are personal size and I just didn't really think I wanted to order another mo term version until I make sure this works. Also, these uh, rings are smaller and I did a video a, a while ago showing how to determine the size of the rings. I don't really know what size they are and the listing on Amazon doesn't say what size they are and I didn't measure them, but these are smaller. So I may end up changing this mechanism to something larger if I feel the need to order. <laughs> Again, I haven't, completely decided that I'm going to move into this I just want to see if it's even possible so I've got my laminator warming up down here okay so this is a piece of three mil laminate and I not all laminate sheets are made equal I think this is a scotch it may not be a scotch it may be another brand that I got when I got a uh, a fellows laminator so I'm not sure it says this is hot but yeah I would suggest scotch laminate sheets uh, I just find the quality to be better than anything else I have tried so far but this is three mil there's nothing in it you could actually put something in it and I did consider that you could put a printable pattern in here. You could put some scrapbooking paper. I wouldn't put anything too thick because if you put something thick, it's gonna cause it to be stiff and then it'll keep your planner from, or your cover from closing on its own. So I found that out the hard way. Um, and I'm doing the whole sheet. And basically what this, I think this is one of the cheap laminate sheets. <laughs> with those with the, the ones that are not so great those are the ones that tend to bubble and the scotch um, pouches they bubble too but not as much as these off-brand ones do the ones from walmart i think they're pen and gear brand not sure but the ones from walmart bubble too and that could be what these are but i don't know i don't know i took everything out of the box because i was trying to uh organize so 
Then another thing you could do is laminate just half. So if you don't mind, if you want like a matte finish in the front, but you still want it to be sturdy because you have to screw your disc, I mean, <laughs> screw your rings onto it. The laminate I think is kind of necessary to give you that sturdiness. You could laminate one side of a piece of scrapbook paper. Uh, I'll link to a video where I show you how to laminate one side. So I was trying to see if I could seal up those bubbles, but it's not going to. Also, that could have happened because I did not let this laminator heat up for an extended period of time like I usually do. I just came in here and grabbed it. Okay. So I know I'm probably going to need the whole thing. Let's get in frame. So I'm just going to find the center and go ahead and punch the holes so that I can add the hardware to this. So I've found my center. So I'm just going to try and line those holes up on those folds. See if I can get the pin to right. And I'm going to try and just center this top to bottom as best as I can. I don't know if that's even going through. Nope. So how am I going to do this? I guess I'm going to have to do it like this. Maybe this is easier to do it. And then I can use my marker instead of trying to use the pen. Okay. So I'm going to line this up on here where I want it to be and mark it. And I know that moved a little bit. But we're going to get it back where it needs to be it's gonna be right there okay <laughs> I don't know how I did it so easily before I did do it a lot easier than this okay so I am going to use my we are memory keepers now they are we are makers they've changed their name so I'm going to use my We Are Makers punch and it barely makes it in there to where I need it to go. I hope that's not going to be a problem. That might be a problem. You may have to do this again. Because they are not lined up in the same place but that's okay let's use this so that I can get in a little deeper and punch that's also um, that's the big bite from we are makers I gotta get used to that we are makers all right let's see are my holes gonna line up I think they will kind of for the most part. Okay, so they are lining up. Now let's get the hardware. Um, I don't even have a screwdriver here, do I? Is the screw supposed to go on the outside or the inside? I think, I think the screw goes on the inside. This goes like this, and then you just screw this on. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> so let's screw that on as best as I can by hand, and I'll come back with a screwdriver if this actually works. No point in tight tightening it if it's not going to work. ink on my hands okay so now we have this okay let's put this up and see what we got if it's gonna work so I'm gonna take out the rings and then see if I can slide in 
I took out the disc. I'm gonna check and see if I can slide in the rings. Yes. Now it might be a little short. Let's see. And it hides all those bubbles and everything. Then I just, well, it hides most of them. Bring it to the center. Look at that. Excellent. 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 Okay. So now let's, I didn't get it quite centered, but I think it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure if you do it, you can do a better job. If you take your time, I was kind of rushing through it. Let's get a sheet of half letter paper and punch and see if it's going to fit. So this is an adjustable six hole punch. And I do believe if I push it all the way out that that is A5. I have to experiment with it every time. A5 is the rest of the world's version of our half letter. They're slightly different in size, but comparable. Okay, so I have some dot grid paper here that I recently printed. Let's go ahead, cut this in half and punch it and see if it will fit. It's just two sheets. So I'm gonna cut it with my trimmer here. Let's cut that up. Okay. And single sided, so. Let's see, you can punch. Ooh. That's the only thing I don't like about this punch. I have to eyeball centering it a little bit. Okay. All right. So now we got our punched pages. Let's add them in. I can't do it. This is really hard to open. And let's see. Voila, they fit. And it goes a little something like that. All right, so if I decide to move in to rings, I have the option to use this Motarm cover. I really wanna get a lot of use out of it because it costs a fortune. Oh, I didn't want to just move out of it. Now, the only thing is with this, the laminate does not cover this completely because of the rings. There is a way to extend the length of laminate, but I really don't think that's necessary for this. It slides in no problem. Oh, I got stuff in here. I'm going to slide it back in there. And then, yeah, that gives you room to adjust it to where you need it to be. You don't have to worry about trimming anything or anything like that. It's pretty perfect in there. Okay. And I'm sure I'll get tired of this binder and then we'll move into something else. Maybe in April, but we'll see. So if you don't want this glare, and I'm kind of thinking I don't want the glare, you could also do the single-sided laminate that I mentioned. Wow, you could laminate some stickers. So these stickers that I have from Kelva Plan that I've had an issue with finding something to do with, I could actually put those on here and, lamin ooh, and laminate it. And it's gonna show from both sides of the sticker. Ooh, <laughs> I could do that. I could put some gilding flakes on the laminate and laminate that. I could put some glitter or confetti style glitter, not the fine glitter, but the confetti style and put it inside of the laminate pouch and laminate that. Um, there's so many things you could do. You could stamp on the inside of the laminate, then laminate it. If you have a lighter colored binder, that would show up really well. Yeah. There's so many things, whatever, if you can laminate it, then you can use it as your background or what you attach your ring mechanism to. 
I may change. You could do vellum, like this vellum, my favorite vellum from Isis Ella Jewels. Could laminate that, put it in the back, or do the single side laminate trick. I may show. I think I'm gonna go ahead and show the single side laminate trick. Let's go ahead and do that. So since we're doing hacks, let's go ahead and do all the hacks. I went and looked through my papers. So I know this is Christmas paper. This is gilded berry, but I thought it would be nice to go with this instead of doing maybe like a seasonal type page. I would do something that actually matches the planner. So quickly, this is what the paper looks like. I really like this green, but I'm not going to go with the green. I like that green too, but no, I didn't want to do anything with too much foil because of glare. So I think I'm going to use this one and it's not too Christmassy. It looks decent with the color. I mean, it doesn't really match. Oh, and while I was away, I did change my card. But yeah, so, I mean, I think it'll work. So let's try it. I mean, I'm going to move this out of the way for now. And then I have the laminate sheet. Now, this is actually 5 mil laminate. Um, but I figured that would be fine because we're only going to use one side of it. So I'm going to cut off where it is connected. And I'm just going to use one side. And it doesn't really matter that it's rounded on the corners are rounded on one and not on the other at this point because those are going to be hidden inside of the planner. Okay. So this is what I want to do. I need to trim this down to the size of the laminate to the same height. I think the width is fine the way it is. So this is where I need to cut. I really don't need to draw the line all the way across, but I'm trying not to touch the inside of that too much all right so let's trim this and this is what we've got um one other thing i wanted to say is you can always just put a piece of scrapbook paper behind like that and it doesn't even have to be the full width so yeah if you want to decorate and change up the decoration every so often without redoing the laminate then you can easily do it that way you could also use decorative acetate there I'm telling you the options are pretty much endless of what you can do with that okay so it is wider than now what I'm going to do is put the laminate on the back. So it's going to go back here. Let's line it up. What did I get on there already? Okay. And then I'm going to run this through. My laminator has been heating for a while. So hopefully it's good and hot. And really you could probably just put a piece through the center again this is really customizable you can do whatever you want you just want something sturdy where you're going to connect the mechanism to your page so you could do packing tape masking tape because if the back is hidden you won't see it um, just something to make it a little more sturdy where you're gonna screw in those rings. That went through a little bit crooked, but it's fine. Okay, so we got a single side laminated. I don't think I need this anymore. Let's put it aside. Okay, so this is what we've got. 
you could round your corners I think I am just to make it a little easier to slide in and look nice so I'm going to use the quarter inch rounder this is not really necessary You could also trim it down to be the same width as the laminate. I'm not going to do that. I think it's fine the way it is. Let's go ahead and measure and put the rings on. So I'm going to take this piece out. Uh, let's take the paper out. And undo this. Oh, I might need to go get a screwdriver. Then I'm just going to use this as my guide to punch the holes. Center it and get a pencil and oh, I can't mark it with a pencil on here. Let's get the pen. See if I can mark it with the pen. A little bit. Nope. Okay. All right, let's try again. Let's mark it with the marker. Make sure everything is lined up. That's where I need to punch. And this time I'm just going to use the big bite. Just get the big bite up here. it up and punch the holes okay now let's attach the mechanism I think I like this better than just the clear. Oop, don't want to lose that. So let's put this one through. There we go. Why does that look crooked? I guess it's not. Okay. So of course I need to come back and tighten those up, but let's slide this in. And this is what gave me the idea to use this paper, this dashboard. Let's slide it in. This one is a little more snug. Ooh. Oh, I forgot there's papers in here. Let's take those out so they won't be in the way. There we go. Okay, let's put the papers back. Definitely need to tighten this up. And voila, no glare, just paper. And it's attached. I think that's pretty sturdy. And if you wanted to make sure it's even a little more sturdy, you could probably run a piece of tape underneath the mechanism right here in the center so that it would be hidden. You wouldn't see it. And that would probably be, I mean, that would give you a little more secure attachment to your base, but I think I'm cool with it just like that. So that's two ways to do it. So let's go over this again. You can laminate just an empty pouch, three mil or five mil works fine. You can do the single side laminate like I just did here. You could use maybe like a Dollar Tree cutting mat. I think that might be a little thick, but it could work. You could use regular acetate. So if you buy the decorative acetate from the craft store, you could use that. You could just use a regular laminated piece of scrapbook paper or whatever you choose. Whatever you laminate, you could laminate 
glitter, uh, anything that you would laminate to make faux acetate. I do have a video on faux acetate that I will link in the iCard up above. And I could probably go on with more options. Um, there are so many that you could do to do this. So if you have a notebook cover, you can convert it to rings easily. The only issue would be what size inserts would fit in it once converted. Fortunately, this cover is actually for discs and it had the room to allow for the rings and then some. So I have even more room. So if I decide to change this mechanism to a larger ring, then I will still have plenty of room. And I even considered that maybe I could have both in here. I don't know. It could happen. Um, what I would probably have to do. Yeah, see how it's wrinkling up the paper there. But what I would probably have to do if I wanted both in here, make it kind of like a hybrid is put smaller discs. And I may actually do that. Um, but we'll do that another time. But for now, this works fine. So that is how you can convert a notebook cover to rings. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.